Thank you for tuning in. Trapper Down GT Outdoor Show. <clears throat> Just looking for my buddy. He shot a couple ducks. But anyway, day after Christmas. The water was a little high yesterday, but it, uh, it's starting to recede. And I've been meaning to put in a pocket. I got a rat set on that log. And down around the corner is my other video where I caught two muskrats. And when the water's at normal level, this bank down there and over to here somewhere, foot, foot and a half, it's like a little beach. Well, Friday when I came to set up, there was muskrat tracks, coon tracks, all kinds of stuff. But there was also mink tracks running. So those mink know where these muskrat live. And what I'm going to do here is build a pocket, okay? Yeah, a little grassy field up there that runs about 50 yards. Uh, this woods here, there's like a draw there. You know, this brushy area, if you look at here, it's a nice brushy area. Okay, mink are gonna get in here, and it's kind of warm here in Connecticut. And they're gonna be looking at for mice, rabbits, and stuff. They're not necessarily gonna be down, locked up under the ice, because there really isn't much ice. But they're running this bank as the water recedes. And there was mink tracks. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a pocket here. Okay. So clean the area out. It's going to be a baited mink pocket. Feel the dirt. All right. You can dig your pocket as big or small as you like. I like a bigger pocket, okay? I don't go right down to the water yet. Okay. Leave that dirt there. What I'm going to try to do is dig it straight back. Okay. You know, we've all read books, seen videos, shallow pockets, deep pockets. <sighs> I don't know. Six one, half a dozen to the other, I think. So, but what I will do, is I will get the water going in there. Okay? And I'll go a little deep here. Because this water is going to go down. Because of the rain we had in Connecticut. I love this J.C. Connor tool. <sighs> Some of that don't look good, folks. All right. Then what I'll do is try to, if you can, what I try to do is I'll take a ledge up in the back. Turn my shovel. So it's almost like a pock, a hole inside the pocket. Okay? That's a nice looking pocket. And I already wired my trap off to the log out there. What I have is a older style Montgomery round jaw, one and a half coil. Heavy trap. Like I said in one of my other videos, I've streamlined a lot of my outfit to one and a half coils. Boy, these things are strong. And I pick them up at the conventions. A lot of them are in good use. Trap tag on there. But if need be, I'll replace the springs. Okay? Like I said, that water's going to drop a little bit tonight because it's high here in Connecticut. And then what I'll do. Take a nice piece of hickory shad. And try to find a nice stout stick, okay? We've all been here trying to look for good sticks. And you just can't find one. Put that wire under the water. Okay. Uh, come out here. 
Nice stout stick. Try to get one with a fork on the end if you can. But I'm gonna pin it in there. That's a piece of hickory shad. They come up to the Connecticut River and I got an older guy, older gentleman who gets them for me. Whoop. I'm gonna stuff it up into that hole that I dug and I'm gonna pin it. Probably can't see in there with the GoPro, but it's up on the ledge. So it's up, it's high and dry. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Wacom lure. It's an all gland predator lure. So far I've seen it work great on coyotes. Whew, it stinks, it smells good. Ooh, smells fresh. It's an all gland predator lure, uh, red fox. Coyotes, and I had this in the pocket set of cream that I got that big muck, buck mink in. It's called Wacom. I make it. It's a good seller. It's a good producer. Okay. I'm going to put that up in there. Smear it on the fish a little. Put it right up on the ledge. Okay. Right up in there. You'll smell that. I didn't bury it in the dirt. And what I'll do is I'll take my four ounce bottle with some shellfish essence oil. And you can even use your finger, soak into the dirt. I should have uh, sheep's wool. Uh, I do carry it. I don't have any with me. I'm out. And a few drops around the hole of the shellfish oil. I'm not going to plaster the area because this is strong stuff. This is shellfish oil. And I mix glycerin with it to help it from freezing. The only thing is it does separate. So you got to shake it real good before you use it. You can probably put propylene glycol, but I mix a little glycerin. Make sure you shake it up before you use it. That'll keep helping from freezing down. And I tripped over the wire and pulled my trap right out. Put that trap right in there, a little angle. And too short. Some guys use them, some guys don't. Me, I'll put a stepping stick out here, just like that. Not gonna deter the mink, but it'll get them this way. Now, like I said, you can see some mussel shells there and where the rats were going up underneath. I took three rats out of there, so. I got a feeling that I like to trap in the hole. Try to avoid coon, although sometimes you got to clean them out. But with that piece of piece of hickory shad, my Wacom shellfish oil, that side of peel, that's a baited pocket, um, and they do work. Okay. Um, the other day I caught that buck mink. It's on YouTube. So I know baited pockets do work. I've caught a few mink here in them. And uh, that water's cold. But uh, that's a baited pocket. Like I said, when this water recedes, I can dig that pocket deeper and still male fu it'll still function. There was mink tracks scattered up and down here the other day. The water came up, so I know there's mink. They're hunting here. They know the rats live here. Uh, this little ditch in this area here, and then there's hardwoods. Oh, there he is. Um, the mink are in here looking for mice and stuff like that, and rabbits. Maybe chipmunks, even though chipmunks are in the ground now. But they'll also travel. They were traveling right here in the, the water. The sandbar stopped here, so it was just perfect. I bet there'll be a mink in there in a couple days. But anyway... Thanks for subscribing to my channel, like our page, and um, if you need traffic supplies, go to wildlifesupplystore.com, and you get all you need for hunting, fishing, trapping, wildlife removal products, even hiking and camping gear. But uh, we'll go from there. Thank you for tuning in to Trapper Don CT Outdoor Show. Bye now.